In long form. So I haven't even given you the sheets yet. Okay, I haven't even given you sheets yet because we're gonna um, talk about it first. I wanna make sure that you're paying attention. Um, so, uh, exponential and log form. So we have done multiple different types of graphs. And what is this one called? So linear. It's a linear. Okay, so we've done linear. We've done um, ones like this. What is this? Exponential. It's non -linear. Exponential, it is also non-linear. <laughs> okay, um, and we've done these. What are those called? Starts with a Q. Quadratic. I know it was. I know. And then you changed your mind. Okay, so we've got quadratics. Um, uh, and then here we've got logs. Okay, so logs and exponentials go together. So you can see, like, they kind of have the same shape, but it's kind of turned on its side. Okay. If you would take that exponential and you would flip it over and move it up, it would be right there on that blue one, okay? So, and then lastly, they go together like this. What always goes with times? What goes with times? If we're trying to do the opposite and move stuff around, what goes with times? Divide. Divide. What goes with addition? Subtraction. Subtraction. What goes with squared? Cubed. Square root. Square root. Okay, good. Um, exponential and logs are opposites. Okay, they go together. So you got addition and subtraction, right? You, you move them around to kind of cancel them out. Exponential and logs are opposites. That's what they're, they're for. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. But today and tomorrow, all we're going to be doing is converting. Okay, you need to get practice with, with the form and, and comfortability with the form because it looks really complicated. You guys came in and you're like, what did I miss? Isaiah Farouk did it too, and he was like, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind. Um, it's a totally new subject on here. Why someone chose to call it logs, I have no idea. They could have called it anything in the world. They called it a log. Go on. Here is, you need this formula, so write it down. If you know you're not going to bring your iPad or watch the video tomorrow, because it's going to be the exact same, take a picture so you have the formula, okay? Take a picture on your phone or whatever. Okay, so we got log form. Log form looks like this. Log, yes, you have to say the word, okay? Or write the word. Log of A should be a little a. See how this five is little? Okay, that means our a needs to be little. a to the b equals c. Write it down. So are we finding c or what? No, write it down. Okay, exponential. Exponential form looks like this. We say a to the c power equals b. Which one's small in that case? The c. The c. Okay. So right now, as soon as you're done writing yours, take a picture of it. Okay. If you know you're not going to watch the video tomorrow, take a picture of it so um, you have the notes. Okay, take a picture of your iPad or your phone. Some of you guys don't bring your phones or whatever. Make sure that somehow you have the notes. You're going to need these same notes for tomorrow. Okay, so if we look at this, my suggestion to you would be to label. Okay, um, after you do a couple, then you really don't need to label because you'll kind of get the hang of it. And I think the front is definitely easier than the back. Okay, so we can label these. And is this in log form or exponential form? Log. 
It's in log form. It says log, it's in log form. And so we're gonna convert it from log to exponential form. So we can label this A, B, and C. Log's kinda easy because it goes A, B, C, A, B, C. Okay, and we're gonna put it in exponential form. So what is our A? Five. Five, and should it be big or small? Big. Big, see how my A is big? So we got five, C. Four. Four, and it should be big or small? Small equals B. Um, 625. 625. And if you would actually type in your calculator, 5 to the 4th is actually 625. Okay? So all you're doing is rewriting the law. That's it. We're just rewriting the law. What? That, that is right. That's right. That's, that's right. it. That's it. Yes, Walter. I got the camera on. Why are you trying to make me yell at you in public? I was going to give you a shout out. Just now I'm not. Walter's not getting a shout out, people. Just, just making sure. Okay, so we're going to label these. The back is different than the front, though. Oh. A, B, and C. 17 squared equals 2. Okay, slow your roll. So our A is going to be A to the C, which is 2, equals B, 289. My one critique. I'm gonna mark you wrong because I didn't do, this is an easy sheet. The stuff that should be small, it better be small. What if you can't write small? Do we put zero actually? Well, I don't know what to tell you. If you can't write small, then I, I don't, go back to kindergarten. You gotta write small. This should be definitely smaller than this. You don't have to write small, but look how big I wrote mine. So then that one looks kind of small, okay? You got to write it small. Who gets to be the judge if you wrote small or not? You. Me, I'm the judge. So I'll let you know if you do not write small enough. Okay? Um, so we're going to get A, B, and C. It 13. says A to the C. 13 to the legal. Good. For 7, do we actually put a 0? Well, what's it going to say? What's A? A to the C. 0. Yeah, and anything to the zero power is one. If you type in 11 to the zero on your calculator, it's going to give you one for an answer. Wait. Yeah. Okay. What number comes first? Six. Six to the two, two, two equals 36. What is six squared or six times six? 36. 36. Okay. They're actually like go together. They're actually right. Okay, flip your page over, go to the back page. Do it meow. Yeah, do it meow. Right meow. Okay, exponential form. Thank you. Will you do this basically the opposite? Can you let me teach? Exponential form. Looks like this. A to the C equals b. Log form looks like what? Um, log a um, b, b equals, c. equals c. So this is kind of the opposite of what we did on the other page. You're going from exponential and you're writing in log form. Now, some of the kids last period, I told them, and I'm going to tell you, but they didn't listen, you have to write the word log. It's part of the stuff, okay? So go through here and label. What is 20? A. 20 is A. What is the little two? C. C. What is the 400? B. B. Now that you've got the stuff labeled, you can easily write it in your log form. So you're gonna say log of A, what's our A? 20. 20, and the 20 should be small, like this. And it should be like halfway about your G, okay? So it should be like right next to your G. It should be like in the middle between, okay? There's a certain way that they need to be written and it needs to be written that way. Okay, log of A, what's our B? 400. 400, and that should be big. Equals two. Okay, so on these ones, it kind of makes more sense to label almost, okay? So we got A to the C equals B. Okay, 
Okay, and so we say log of A. What's our A? Okay, should A be big or small? Small. Small. Log of A. Then what comes next? Four equals two. Yeah, A, B, C. Four equals two. Okay, you're going to get log of what? Five. Five. 625 equals 4. My 5 does not look good. What if you forgot to make it a little 5? Yeah, it's kind of wrong. It's wrong, okay? Because these are so easy, I'm going to nitpick at you real hard. They, they better, the small stuff better be small, okay? The big stuff should be big. Okay, we got log. Uh, three. 27 equals three. 27 equals three. Do you have to write the word log? Yeah. Yes. On the front, do you have to write the word log? No. No. Log. Four. Four. 64. 64 equals three. Equals three. On the back, which form are we going to? Log. On the front, which form are we going to? Okay. Logs and exponentials are what? They're not the same. They're opposites, okay? They're inverses of each other. Just like multiplication and division go together, um, logs and exponentials go together. Tomorrow, you'll be doing the exact same thing. There is a video for tomorrow. Um...